you go through the dry reds and the dry whites, then as you mature and come back to see the citizen, you come back to sweet wines again. <laughs> Overseas, particularly in America and France, more likely to be called Syrah. And one of the major spellings of that word is S-Y-R-A-H. And you will find that some wineries in Australia are starting to use that spelling, so much so that some writers believe that that could be the major spelling of the variety in this country in Iran. It stays vines over there between here and the resort. It grows very well here in our hot, sometimes very wet and humid conditions. It produces a premium red wine of the Hunters under 1993, two and a half years old, nearly three years old, but it's only been in the bottle for around about six months. So when I pour this wine in your glass, you will notice that it has plenty of colour. It hasn't had time in the bottle to mature, bottle maturation, to deepen that colour. And one of the guidelines about wine is that light colouring, or that colouring in a red wine would indicate when you first see this wine in your glass, you will notice the depth of colour from that reason, for that very depth of colour. So much so that when I pour this wine in the glass, you will notice those few air bubbles that stir up there, and also around the meniscus, you will see a little bit of brown tinging. Now there's nothing wrong with that brown tinging, it's just a sign of a red wine as it matures. It's like us human beings, if you get a bit older, you start to get a few grey hairs. Nothing wrong with it, just a sign of maturity. The three things that I've been talking about in these wines, the oak, the acid and the fruit, are now Inside of the winery, rather a large shed. We have another one next door where the fermentation tanks are. We have workshops and more storage on this side. Behind us over here you can see the oak room and we'll go round there in a minute to see the final stages. Up behind you is the laboratory where the winemaker and his chemist work out of. Generally, you get a nice clean feeling in here. Sometimes during the day, they hose the place out with a mild ammonia solution, controlled bacteria, keeps the place nice and clean and fresh. The white must from the white grapes pumped up into these tanks now, Once they fill those potter tanks with a particular batch of white must, the winemaker needs to make a decision how quickly he will move away the free flow juice for fermentation. If there is plenty of flavour in this particular batch, he might do it in the first hour or so. around about 13% of the available juice. So you can see the economic importance of getting all that juice out. Now at this particular time, it is called wet mark. And the way we treat the wet mark here, you see that hopper on white on rails over there? They run that underneath the tanks, unload the wet mark into it, take it back to where it is now, and then unload the wet mark into those two presses on either side. For a dry red or a dry white, you need to ferment all the sugars out to alcohol. That's what fermentation is. That will end up with a dry wine. If you need a sweet wine, you need to stop fermentation before all the sugar's gone and you will end up with a sweet wine. Okay, just come in a bit closer, please. The barrels we use are 225 litre direct barrels. We use approximately 60% French oak and around about 40% American oak. These barrels cost us around about $800 each brand new and they will last us around about four to five years. Bottle very young. Но они все вина проходят полный цикл. Те нет два вина, из которых мы пользуемся, они полный цикл не проходили. Once they achieve the quality here they're looking for, they open the barrels individually, pump the wine out into a holding tank where it's allowed to settle for three to six months prior to bottling. Useful, I suppose, in inverted commas, statistics to take away with you. 225 litres each. 300 bottles of wine or 25 12 bottle cartons of wine. 
картонных больших таких в этом ряду. 23 тысячи бутылок вот в этом ряду. Вот если вы хотите знать, что за дуб вот написано такой, и французский дуб. Буква «Р» означает конкретный лес, из которого во Франции. Разные дубы из Америки и Франции дают разный запах, разный аромат вина. HT, HT on there means heavy toast. Now that comes about when they're bending the stays on these barrels, they use heat. And it depends how much heat they use, how heavy the toast is.